Hello, and welcome back to Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. Today we've got a real cool build. We've got the Hot Wheels Sweet 16. This car was introduced in 1973, and all of the cars were painted with an opaque enamel. So you're not really going to see any of these around in Spectre Flame unless it's a special edition release or something like that. Let's move on. Here I've got the car drilled apart. Now the engine is one of the posts and the back end of the car is the other post. Now there's not a lot of parts to this car, but this one is in definite need of a restoration. Got the short post on the back by the trunk. Now the trunk opens up as you see, but we're going to strip this down and clean it up. The engine definitely needs to be polished up and we'll take care of that. That's not a problem there. Interior is in fairly good shape, so we'll reuse that. Now the base is another story. The wheels are pretty shot. It's definitely tarnished and needs some polishing. Now these front wheels, they're the hollow kind, but I think I got some replacements. And the wheels in the back are cap wheels. <laughs> Well, we need to get the paint off the body, so we're going to put it in the embalming fluid and drop it in there just like that. We'll get it coated really good and get that old paint off there. I got another car in there that I was working on at the same time. But that paint will come off pretty easy. Let's get it out of the paint stripper when it's done and clean it up and get it ready to paint. I'd like to introduce you to Chroma Air. Now these paints are the house paint from Spray Gunner at SprayGunner.com. This is their own in-house brand. Now what's really cool about this is these are acrylic urethane paints, but they're water-based. And the other great part about these paints is you can use them right out of the bottle. Now, Spray Gunner recommends that you use a 0.5 needle on the airbrush. Now, I've been using a 0.3 on these, and it works absolutely fine. Now, you can thin these paints down with the reducer that they have and that they make, but these paints are fantastic with a complete line of colors and fluorescence, etc. So give Chroma Air a try, and that's exactly what I'm going to use on this Sweet 16 car. Now one of the real cool things about the Chroma Air is you can mix the colors and make your own. I want to make this car a teal. Now this color here is just a little bit too bright from what I'm looking for. So I'm going to put a little bit of the Chroma Air white in there and mix it up. There we go. And these paints cover. Man, I can't begin to tell you how well these paints cover up. Now, the best part about them, like I said, is that you can mix these paints and make your own colors and your own um, blends, etc. And again, these paints can be used right out of the bottle. I'm using approximately 40 pounds of pressure on this because that's what's recommended. And you're not going to believe the finish that turns out in this and the color that turns out in this. This is absolutely incredible. What a great, great product. Now you can get a complete, the complete line of Chroma Air paints at SprayGunner.com and check them out because they've got some fantastic uh, paints and products. They've got airbrushes. They've got compressors. You name it. Let's move on. Let's go ahead and paint this bad boy up. We got the paint all mixed up. And like I said, I'm using it straight out of the bottle there after I mixed up the two colors. Same procedures that I use when I'm doing the other paints, when I'm using the Spectre Flame paints or, or the Createx or anything. I put down light coats. And this is called the Tack Coat. Make sure you get in those hard to reach areas first. And again, put on the light coats. 
I can already tell that this color is going to be fantastic for what I'm trying to accomplish here. This happens to be my favorite color is why I chose this teal. We'll get those uh, light tack coats down. We'll let it dry for just a little bit. Oh, found a hair on there. We'll let these tack coats dry and then we'll come back in in about 15 or 20 minutes and put some more coats on. I came back in later and I put on some saturation coats and let those dry. I let them dry overnight. Now I'm coming in with the clear coat. Now the clear coat I'm using from the Redline shop and they make a fantastic product also and I'm very proud to have Spray Gunner and the Redline shop as official sponsors of Diecast Graveyard. Man, that is nice. I love that color. Like a robin's egg blue or a teal. That's definitely my favorite color. Put some nice, clean coats of the clear coat on there. And this is definitely going to set off that paint job. That uh, chroma air is great stuff. And I plan on using it a lot more. That's looking sweet. Let's move on. <laughs> Someone is being exhumed. <laughs> now we're going to tackle probably the hardest part of this restoration. The base and the wheels. Now I took the old wheels out, as you can see here. Now these front wheels have a hollow portion to them, which is how they made them later on with the red lines. The back wheels are cap wheels. Now, when I pulled the axle out of there, it pretty much disintegrated. It was in pretty bad shape. So I saved the caps in the back, the insides, and I've got some piano wire. And I'm going to show you here this KNS brand, model number 5499. This is the stuff you want to use to replace your axles if you have bearing wheels or the old cap wheels. This is definitely good stuff here, folks. And that's today's tip from your Uncle Polly. Now to continue on with replacing the axle, I use these fence pliers to flatten out the ends as I just showed you there. And I cut a length sufficient enough to fit into the base that we're gonna be replacing these wheels. Now you also want to make sure that you put the caps on correctly. They want to get them so the wheels are facing to the outside or that snap ring is facing to the outside. Now that little flare that I put on the end, that'll go in that little cove inside the wheel. And then you put the other cap on. And there you go. Now we're going to fit it to the body. I'm sorry, the base. Get your marker ready. Put your cap back on. Pull it through and make sure it's flush. There you go, zoom in so you can see it a little better. Now take your permanent marker and mark the axle. Make sure you leave enough to get with the fence pliers so you can flare out the end. See the little mark there now? Right there. Now that's where you want to cut it with your diagonal cutters, right there. Definitely. Okay. So let's go ahead and cut that. Make sure you're wearing your safety glasses here because that little piece of wire can, f can fly out of there. Now I did cut it a little bit before and I had to go back in later and cut off some more because it was a little bit too long. So if you mark it, make sure you cut it where you mark the darn thing. Using your fence pliers, now you can get these pretty much at any hardware store like Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever. 
Squeeze it really hard and it'll flare out that end. Look at that. Now you can trim those up with your little diagonal cutters. There, we can fit these into the base. And they fit good. Now there's a little bit too much slop in there, so we're gonna have to trim that up and fix that. That's a little bit better, but you gotta have some play because you just gotta be able to roll. That's looking good. Now here, this is the vehicle that I used for my front wheels. There are some special Hot Wheels out there that you can use as wheel donors and this is one of them. And the best part about it is, is these are the exact same wheels as far as size and type that came from this car in the first place. So it's like replacing it with original equipment. Now we have to polish up the base. Here I'm using, and the engine, here I'm using Flitz Polish. This stuff is fantastic. Just a little tiny bit and it's like magic. Put a little bit on there and rub it all over the place that you intend to polish it up. And then get your Dremel or whatever polishing tool you're using. I got a brand new bonnet on here so that'll work good. And this stuff works so fast, it's amazing. Let me go ahead and speed this up because I know this is a little bit on the boring side. We've got the base and the engine all polished up. I went ahead and super glued the axles in place. Did the wheel swap on the back. That looks fantastic. That rolls nice and it's got a nice clean polished base. That looks so cool. Here we have all of our parts. Here's the body, all painted that beautiful teal color with the clear coat on it from the Redline shop. Here we've got the base with the brand new wheels, the cap style in the back and the hollow ones in the front. Here's the engine all polished up, ready to go. And here's the interior all cleaned up with a toothbrush and soapy water. Let's put them together and see what we got. And here's what we started with. A Hot Wheels Sweet 16. Now remember that these cars were always painted in opaque enamels and we are use the same thing today when we did the restoration, except I changed the color. But it's a fantastic car, it definitely needs to be in your collection. And here's what we got to. Look at this beautiful paint job with the Chroma Air paint from SprayGunner.com. We polished it up with the Flitz polish, and we did a clear coat with clear coat from the Redline shop. The wheels we got from the Redline shop and then the front wheels we got from another Hot Wheels. This looks fantastic folks. I absolutely love it and I'm definitely looking forward to putting this in my collection. What a beautiful beautiful paint and Chroma Air paints are fantastic. You should definitely give them a try. Check them out at SprayGunner.com and they got all different kinds of colors. They got the fluorescence, they got the other colors and they've got more stuff coming out all the time so please check them out. I use the teal color there and I use the white and that's what I use to mix up the teal that you see in front of you. I didn't want it that stark, I wanted it to, to be a little bit more muted so that's why I put the white with it. 
I'm very happy with this rebuild. It's fantastic. I'm glad I could share it with you. Join the team. You'll be helping the channel by helping with supplies. What you receive in return, you'll see videos at least a day or more in advance. You'll get personal advice for your own diecast hobby. I'll be available for video one-on-one -on -one help. We do prize drawings once a month. Exclusive customs offers only available to members and many more offers. I'd like to take this time and thank my current subscribers. Grim Reaper level, William K7 Robinson, Dale Johnson, and new member, Matt Miller. Thank you so much, sir. Jake Rademacher, Ray Berger, Air Warrior Coffee Company, Ricky Montalvo, Jason Warren, and Sam Pascal on the mortician level. Funeral Director, Double B's Customs, check out his YouTube page. Diecast Sheriff, check out his YouTube page. Dave Christensen and Ryan Goldstein. Gravedigger Level, Aaron Murphy, Leroy, Andrew Hitchens, John Sellers, check out his YouTube page, Phenomenal Builder, Bob DeNice, Les Jenkins, Trevor DeViz, Grizz Flowers, check out BearcatThreeDDesigns.com for 3D printing. Great artist. Chris Decker, Keith Kripe, Johnny Hicks and his son William, Stacy Wright, Richie Ramos, Michael Oxley, and John Homan. Gravedigger level. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for your generosity. Paul Bearer level. Gary Tasker, Daryl Begtel, and Milesium 487. Brand new member. Thank you so much, sir. Hearst Driver level. Jim Silva. Check out his YouTube page. Richard over at Michio Woods Garage on Facebook. He sells a lot of Hot Wheels. Check him out. Somo Diecast. New YouTube page. Check him out. Good stuff. Tony Hughes over in the UK. Wade Hendricks, Stephen Terrence, Diecast Pirate, Pin Tony, Scott Turner, Pete Langford, Joe Pierce, Adam Bowen, Richard Reese, and new member Jason Saylor. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your generosity. I can't thank you enough. Thank you for following my videos on YouTube. Join the team today. You'll definitely be helping me out. The link is in the comments. I would love to have you as a Patreon team member. Again, thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me today here on Diecast Graveyard. We had a great build and it was a lot of fun. Please check out SprayGunner.com. Also, check out the Redline Shop. They've got all the parts you need to do your restorations on your Redline era cars. Again, thank you for joining me today. My name is Paul with Diecast Graveyard. Thank you so much and have a great day.